We live, we live, we are live. Y'all, I apologize that I'm starting so late today. I'm going live. We were supposed to get started at about six, but you know we on CP time, so y'all know how that goes. So we ain't gonna even act like, you know, I'm just super late, but I just want to apologize for those who may have been hanging around and waiting um, for my live today um, as we're gonna be waiting for our guest today to come on live with Ebony. Um, just letting y'all know, cause I hadn't come on this side of town to the IG side in the last few days, my last few lives. I've been going live on Facebook, so I decided today I want to come on and swing back around the block and come hang out with my IG family just to let y'all know that Lord willing it is still happening and getting ready to go down on July the 30th at the Southern Museum of Flight for my second event fashion show which is the Runway Ministry and Fellowship Experience. I'm so 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 excited about it and time is winding down we are now three days away so um you know I'm just Trying to, you know, I, I don't, sometimes, some days I'm just like, oh gosh, what, what, I, what I need to do, what I got to do, scrambling. And, you know, I'm also trying to prepare my designs as well because, you know, I'm going to still have my pieces, my fashion pieces to hit the runway as well too. But also got to still make sure I got the event organized and planned right and I got a whole So I'm about to be trying, I'm going to be in 17 places at one time on that day. And so right now my mind is going a hundred miles a minute, just trying to get this event together. But I still give God all the glory because it's coming together. Like I actually, you know, I, 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 I have a calmness and a stillness in me that either way it go, you know, I'm, I'm releasing it all to God. However, this event and this outcome is going to be it's, it's all on up to God and I'm doing everything and I did everything that I could in my own human effort um, to, to make this event come together. So I've done all that I can. So just like Donnie McClurkin said, hey, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Hey, Skylar Beauty, Beauty Bar, thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, we're just, I'm just geared up for this second fashion show event that I'm so excited about. You know, the Lord has really shown me uh, in his provisions and my provisions that, you know, this is my baby and this is my ministry and I got to keep on building it and growing it and um, I'm just excited about what's happening I'm excited about how it's coming together yes hey hey love hey love thank you so much for joining um yes I'm just excited about how it's all coming together you know one thing I do want to encourage uh those out there who are entrepreneurs and you are uh whatever your career path is and your career journey you're gonna have some moments and and times where you feel like you know in those seasons of trying to figure it out or waiting or transitioning from one thing to another you're stopping one thing starting something new or you know god has given you a prompting and a vision that says hey this is what i need you to be doing my daughter my son like this is what you're supposed to be doing this is your calling this is your ministry so whatever wherever you are in your perspective journey um with whatever you're doing um you know i just encourage everybody to include god seek god seek first the kingdom of God and everything that you're doing and once you you put in those those actions to make your faith complete once you again make sure that you uh, sought God and everything that you're doing you're acknowledging him you are committing to God whatever you're doing um, you're uh, carefully determining what pleases God once you've done those main things and you're stepping out to uh, make uh, to take those faith steps after that, you got to let God be God and finish the rest and, and do everything that, that God, what God is supposed to do if we're, you know, believing God to do these things for us. So, you know, I, I'm just so excited that, uh, again, in this journey in my life, because I'm my new self now, that I, I'm, I'm glad that I get to lean into God and cast all my cares on God. Because before, when I was just so caught up in trying to live to please the world, and I was so caught up in um, just living for myself and thought I had all the control in life. It was, it was very stressful. It was stressful also in just, um, the stress of worrying about things. But, but when I was living in that sense of living, not living to please God and, and, um, and not seeking God first, that, that brought on that extra stress because I thought I had all the control when I still, when we had to understand that God is sovereign, God is actually who has all the control over everything. And when you understand that and you adopt that perspective in life that you know god is sovereign god is in control that god will bring all things together for the good of those who love him then you can learn to rest to get your rest in certain things and you'll also gain that perspective that if things don't go the way you plan for it to go that may just mean that that's not the route that god 
wanted you to take. That may not be the outcome that needed to happen that way. Or God will set things right on up the way it's supposed to go. He will direct your step. Just like the word said, when you acknowledge God. You will direct your paths. Uh, you're seeking and committing to God. Whatever you do, he will direct you. So, you know, and and, and just understanding that, then you can just um, breathe easy uh, uh, more when, when you kind of just going through these things. And it doesn't promise that you're not going to have the setbacks or the calamities or the hardships and things like that. So it doesn't promise that. What it just does promise what God has just said, when you think on the pure things, the right things, the true things, the lovely things, the honorable things, the admirable things, the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. When you think on those things, then you will have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding that will guard your heart and mind. Then you will also be able to adopt that spirit like, well, hey, if it didn't work out, then that must be meant that God did not have this for me. This It wasn't planned for it to work out this way. You'll just, you kind of, you, you accept the challenges better. You accept the slip ups better, you know, because you're not going to be perfect um, in, in, in everything. You know, you're still going to have have and, and, and indeed make those many mistakes so that's just what I'm encouraging right now and as I'm still just waiting on um my person to join in so let me just check to see if I may have needed to add her let's see yeah thanks thanks for joining I'm just trying to wait on my special guest to come in it and let's see if I can get her to come on Yeah, so while we're waiting on that, oh, there she is. Hey, Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I am doing okay, girl. I was steady just a running my mouth, waiting like, all right, I'm waiting on my girl to join, waiting on her to join. So thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Thank you for being patient. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. That that's all right. Hey, I like like I was telling. I had them. I had them forewarn the audience that we are on CP time, so we do understand what that means and and how that rolls. So everybody get it. They get it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, or social media time. You know, social media time. That's it. So S S M time or CP time. So either one of those, you just know that we we may not start start exactly when we say. <laughs> so they give us that grace and that right. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we about to go ahead and kind of roll on into it. But before we start, you know, um, I want to just tell the audience that we're prepping for four days away. One of my biggest events, the runway ministry and fellowship Yay! experience. And I'm just excited about this, that I see how God God has brought it together. I see that God is working things together for the good of those who love him. And I was just kind of telling the audience and telling those who are coming on that, you know, when you're seeking God and everything that you're doing and you are stepping out in that faith and you are putting in those actions to make your faith complete, you done or after you've done all that you can, whenever you're out there trying to carry out your ministry, living a life worthy of your calling, after you've done all those things, then, hey, you got to just sit back and let God be God. And, and so with this, that's it that's it and so with this event i'm just really lean it's all on god now i don't know what the outcome is going to look like but i've done everything that i knew how and, and including you know just trying to pull everything together for the event connecting with new people like yourself so i want to uh, uh, formally introduce you to everybody y'all um you know as i was trying to pull this event together i was so uh overwhelmed with joy that i had people reaching out to me for the first time because you know i'm still new in this whole thing with uh building in this ministry for this runway ministry and fellowship experience this is still a new journey for me so uh to see finally everything coming together with people even reaching out to connect with me it just mm -hmm. lets me know that i'm on i'm on you know god is showing me that i'm on the right track and that god will also connect you to the right people he'll bring the yes, right people in your life yeah. as he long as if you are continuing to stay in the will of God and seeking God, he going to bring those right people in your path. And, and it don't matter how you can't, don't worry about how he going to bring you those blessings and those key people in your life. Just know he'll, he'll, they'll show up and God will bring the right ones. But anyway, so with that said, I just want to introduce uh, the lovely lady that we have here, Miss Deidre, um, who's hello, with hello. Sweet Sip bartending company so uh, if you can tell everybody you know just about your company your business how long you've been in business and just tell us a little bit about that okay well hello hello i am Deidre. i am the owner of this bartending company we are a mobile bartending company here in birmingham um and we just pretty much travel all over we have been out of state before so um you know my okay 
our sins is we bring the place and we will bring the bar. You know, so we just kind of fall over. We are about two and a half years old, almost three years old. Okay. Um, and fun and fun fact, this will be our first. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that, Say that one more time. This will be our first sponsorship. Well, I I bless God for that. Oh man, what well, I bless God for that. When you reached out to me, um, and y'all, the the so the benefits of social media can be so promising, you know, mm -hmm. because that's how we can connect and reach with people that we may have never been able to see or meet before. So Absolutely. I'm very thankful for those benefits and what social media can offer. And with that, I just I, I'm blessed that. You know, you reached out to me in social media and you when you your that message you sent to me, it just it, it let me know, like, God, I'm obviously doing something right. You know, you reached out. You apparently had to um, profile and just kind of research what my what my what, what yeah. I was about before you decide, because, you know, we're not going to just sponsor any old body we well, at least as spiritual saints children of god we're not about to just be throwing ourselves in any old thing Absolutely. i'm sure we gotta make sure we uh, uh search and see what we look up who we what, who we trying to connect with so mm -hmm. i i would believe that you took some type of research on me to see what, what what it was about before you decided and yes just to hear when you said that you were open to sponsorship options it just it made my heart feel so good to know that i was i was cheering inside and i was trying to keep my my, uh, email composed you know so you didn't know it, but I was inside just jumping for joy like wow because you are were honestly my first sponsorship really? offer in, in all of this that I'm doing so it just it let me know like God that means it's coming and I'm and and I feel so good I'm excited about my one sponsorship offer and, and I'm sorry let <laughs> me correct excited. that yes well let me be corrected i do have one other person she did offer a donation but i still consider that as well as just sponsorship donation same thing like i'm just i'm like god this is you are showing me something god because i didn't have it before it's showing growth mm -hmm. in in what we're doing when those connections begin to happen like that because people are going to donate and sponsor what they want and you didn't have to offer that to me you know what i'm saying yeah and that was yeah. something that you decided to do so so i i, I first want to tell you thank you so much for for being willing to offer that to us and, and hopefully that means we have a lasting connection and that you know now we, we we're family in christ so that means i got to look out for you in return now <laughs> all right i'll take that i will definitely take that and we'll definitely do more things we will definitely do more things um i did and actually funny thing it was my first day on the app when i saw when we got connected okay. it was the first day on the app and so i did do a little research when i saw your flyer i did do a little research and I uh -huh. said, well, i'm just gonna reach out and just see what we can do um and so yeah i'm excited i'm excited well, well, that's 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 good to know. That's all I can say. Like, I just appreciate that. I appreciate that, uh, um, you know, in, in my journey, because I know that I'm doing this in a way of serving the purposes of God. I feel good about it. Like, I, I feel good about accepting these offers, because, again, it just it's just a, a sign by God to me that, you know, I'm still stepping in in the right places. And, you know, God is going to make it all work together. So that's including you. So so let's talk about the event. So we, we, we're having our runway ministry and fellowship experience where there'll be vendors, food trucks is going to be some performances and then, you know, highlighted by the fashion show, which is the highlight of the evening. So, you know, we're bringing Sweet Sips Bartending Company in uh, as a sponsor because, hey, we're going to sit here and act like, you know, yeah, we children of God, but we're going to sit here and act like it's, it's all it's wrong to have a little few sips of some nice little uh, uh, uh <laughs> drink here and there so we ain't gonna even sit here and pretend like you know that's just um prohibited we, we ain't right. gonna do that so right. so so let's talk about it so uh we we know that you know in in this offer you're actually planning to get do a few giveaways so let's talk about that well what's your what's your plan on how we're gonna make somebody night at, at the event Okay, well, we will be giving away a, uh, two giveaways. We will have a mocktail, okay. we will have a mocktail giveaway, and we will also have a sweet sips kit giveaway. And it's just like a little goodie bag, and it will have some sweet sips swag in it. It will also have a 
a good old good cocktail in there. <laughs> have a good little cocktail in there. Um, only thing you have to do is just stop by our table, follow us on IG, and you will receive a raffle ticket. And at some point during the fashion show, we will do a drawing. And I'm assuming it'll probably be at the end because it'll, you know, towards the end because it is such a, you know, a bigger, um, a bigger prize. And you follow us and you can get a chance to win some sweet sweat. And y'all heard what she said now. Don't, and I'm gonna tell you now, if y'all wanna act like y'all don't wanna stop by the table to get this sweet swag, I will get it for you. And I can bring it on home to the house. So go ahead and act like y'all don't wanna take her up on that offer. So so like she said, we're gonna do two giveaways. And um and so one of it will be a mocktail. So for, for those that just may not know what that is, tell us what the mocktails are. The mocktails, they are also a special juice blend. Um, and they're also they're made with garnishes, um, all different types of flavors. You know, you still kind of craft those just like you would do a cocktail, but it's just for non-drinkers. And we all like to drink things cute, regardless if it has alcohol in it or not. So the mocktail is just a very cute, um, let me just see, non-liquor. Okay. <laughs> that's the that's right, that that's right. It. Yeah. Yep, and so and mocktails could be for any age because because it's no alcohol, so that means even a kid can enjoy just the cute setup and display and, and enjoy just a nice fruity beverage. Is that what that is? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what that's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. So so for for that mocktail giveaway, is it going to be like in a kit as well, or is it just going to be in in one bottle? Like how how uh, how are you doing the mocktail giveaway? Yes, it will be. Um, it will be just one bottle. I actually haven't decided if I'm gonna throw something else with it or not. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. So maybe okay. it's just like a, you know, like maybe like something small, um, smaller scale of um, you know, some sweet swag. So it'll definitely okay, okay. So, but it'll still be just as cute as the cocktail. It'll still be just as cute and just as delicious. Well, listen, I'm excited about it because, you know, like I said, I, I, I swig a little bit here and there, but <laughs> I, I would be more so like I'd be riding that mocktail line because, you know, I still I want to feel mm -hmm. like I'm drinking, but not really. I'm one of those people. So I would enjoy the mocktail because yeah, I'm one of the ones like, yeah, mm -hmm. I still I want to look like I'm swigging some. But, you know, I don't mind if, if it's just non-alcoholic. I feel I, I'm good with that. So yeah. I'll be in that mocktail mm -hmm. line. Um, so, yeah. So y'all heard him. Mm -hmm. Yep. So y'all heard her. She said, all you got to do is stop by her table and then tell us again. Um, and, and, and it's a, your volume a little low, but I can hear you. But tell us again, though, how we can how they can get that giveaway when they're at the event. OK, just stop by our table. Go and follow us on Instagram and we will follow you back because we do a follow for follow. And once that's we, right. Once we follow each other back, I will give you a raffle ticket and you just drop it in the bucket. And then if you just so happen to pull your ticket, you get the swag. Y'all, that's very, very simple and easy. So don't act like that's going to be hard to do. All she said was stop by the table and let's give us some support. We can follow. You're going to follow her. She'll follow you right back because it is Absolutely. a follow for follow. We're going to support each other. And then you're going to grab that raffle ticket. We're going to put it in a bucket and we're going to pull a name. And so that'll give you an opportunity to win. Uh, the, and that's for the mocktail and the the the, yes. uh, the basket giveaway. Mm -hmm. It's the bank. Okay, good, good. So we're all right so we're doing two of them so y'all that's going to be so exciting and like i said for you adults and for that for those that have the kids at home this will be a great giveaway like i said you know it's it's nothing wrong with enjoying a nice little drink here and there of course in moderation so i'm not uh i'm definitely not condoning to over drink or anything like that but it surely ain't nothing wrong with having a little sweet sip every now and again yeah, which right. hits the name sweet Tips bartending company. So tell us though, let's talk about your the name of your company. So what made you come to that name? Um, I have no idea. So we'll just, just go with the Lord. Um, and, and it's and it's so, okay. I, I promise, I promise. And of course, we were birth during the pandemic. Board. Okay. Um, I used to bartend weddings all the time at a venue, and of course, when COVID hit, we had to shut everything down. Um, and mm -hmm. so it really formed out of boredom. Um, don't don't tell don't tell anyone. And I had no idea that I would be going this way. Oh, no okay, idea. okay. Um, I was a little bit skeptical, and sometimes I still am. You know, it's just like when I reached out to you, 
Um, mm -hmm. Just because of my walk with Christ, you know, just because of my walk with yeah. him. And I was like, well, how will I be a bartender and, and still do well with this? Like, will it please God? How will it do? And so I just still got on faith and just did it. And here we are almost three years later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's, and, and you know what, while we're talking about that, let's, let's, let's elaborate on that, that whole, what you said, because, you know, of course, even with that, you would think like, well, okay, because we're supposed to be, you know, believers in Christ, you know, we're children of God. Mm -hmm. You you would think like, well, I guess you would, we, we're concerned to say, well, what are they, go are people going to think of me because, you know, I'm a bartender or because I even have a bartending company? Like, right. what, would the, what are they going to think? Yeah, but, but, you know, I guess in my my opinion for those of you who are mature spiritually and understanding that walk as a as a mature saint um again when 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 we when we're talking about i guess the subject of drinking you're not um you're not supporting or advocating for people to drink to get drunk no. You're not supporting or advocating for people to uh, do things to to cause issues or wild problems you're only just you're you're just uh, uh putting Given uh, allowing people an opportunity to do what is simply okay to do as long as they're doing it in moderation. That's my my honest opinion in it because I know that for many of us, again, when we are trying to be careful and carefully determining mm -hmm. what pleases God, we would have tried to we we would consider like, wow, would this be wrong to do or what? You know, is this is this is it wrong? What are people are going to think? But at the end of the day, you know, even in the Bible, you know, it's it's definitely not a sin. It's not nothing wrong with having a drink, of course. But again, as long as you do things in moderation, in moderation. and and absolutely, yep, and, and, yep, and nothing, and and you you're remaining sober in the situation. It's you're you're not doing anything wrong. So we're not going to sit here and pretend like uh, or, or or act like uh, uh, we're holier than thou. Like oh, we can't have a drink. Right. No, it's it's, it's okay. Right. It's okay, and, and you know, and, and God already approved uh, uh, these these things, so we don't have to necessarily be concerned about what the what what the saints have to say about it, you know, because at the end of the day, we're still doing things that God that God approved, and it's okay. Again, long as you're not supporting anything else for people to do anything wild right, or, or supporting right. them to take things uh, to, uh, on a whole nother level with now they're not sober, then that's a, that's a different story, but. I, I think that what you're doing is still okay. You you still making sure that you honor God in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You still are are making sure that you are still committed committed to God. You're Absolutely. still a child of God. So hey, it it is it is your ministry, and you can still even when you're doing that, making sure you're telling others about the goodness of God. Here you go. Here's a little sweet sip, and God is good <laughs> all the time. Yes, He is all the time. That's right. <laughs> you know, That's right. And that, a, um, it was such a joke about my my Instagram name. Um, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I just thought it was I just thought it fit because it's <laughs> and you know and, and people joke about it all the time. They they joke about it all the time. But I think it I think it fits perfectly with, with the business. You'll know exactly whose page you're coming to, you know. Um mm -hmm. but you know mm -hmm. people can be I love it. They can they can be judgmental and, and very um small minded. Okay. Yeah, scrutinizing mm -hmm. and all that, but but we understand that that's even Bible, so we get it. So that's why, as mature saints, if we know that what we're doing, we, we are um, if we're sure in in our step and our walk with God, we honestly we if we if we sat mm -hmm. there and worried about what everybody would have had to say, we wouldn't we uh will be will be in trouble then. So you you understand and like you said, you just keep on going because you know you know your walk with God and you know mm -hmm. that everything is good. So, so I think it's okay, and I love the name. Uh, um, I thought that was very catchy to to the whole situation, so that way people really know what you're getting at. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you very much. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, um, let me ask. Um, now for, for this for this event that's coming up, um, have you have you attended any fashion shows in Birmingham? Um, I haven't in Birmingham. I was actually just at a um fashion show with my family and my church family. Um, okay. Alabaster, I want to say probably right at a month ago. Um, okay. Right, right at a month ago. And it was actually a ministry. Uh, it was a different ministry um, with Runway as well. With Runway and Fashion. Okay, good. At a, a boutique. It was really nice. It was really nice. And okay. Just, I had such a good time, such a wonderful time. Um, mm -hmm. The fellowship was great. And so when I saw yours, I was like, oh, this is, this is 
is definitely, you know, and if I hadn't, probably if I hadn't experienced that, um, you know, less than 30 days prior to seeing it, then I probably would have been like, no, this isn't for me. Uh, but mm -hmm. I was like, you know, and then we talked and then we had that little, that little no moment there. And it was, I was like, okay, well, we can still do this, you know, because I still, yeah. still wanted to, um, to be a part. So I haven't been to any in Birmingham, but I, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, well, good, good. I'm, I'm just so happy to have you on board. And like I said, for you to even had offered that opportunity of sponsoring the event. Um, mm -hmm. again, that just put me in a place of, of being very grateful and thankful. And I bless God for you. Um, you know, because again, hopefully it all goes full circle. We make those lasting connections. And I'm just so excited to have you. I'm excited to have you set up your table. Because again, we want people mm -hmm. to still enjoy themselves with that sweet sips. And like she said, y'all, she's mobile. So if you're having Having something if you're putting on an event if you got something going on and you need to bring the bartending services to you that's what she will do she will bring Absolutely. pack up and bring the bar to you Absolutely. all right so let's make sure that we we support that because I'm sure we all even if we don't go to an event you may put on something at your own home and then you're trying to figure out older oh, and I got to go out and get drinks well if you go ahead and hire listen if you go ahead and hire sweet sips bartending company she'll take care of all of that for you so tell us while, while we have you, where can we find you on all your platforms so that way if somebody is trying to reach out to find you, how can they get a hold of you? Okay, um, you can reach me on IG at co.sweetsilksbartending and um, Facebook is also just Sweet Sils Bartending Company and if you just want to talk to me directly personally and don't want to go to my um, to my social media, you can always follow me here and DM me here on IG at the Church of Bartender. All right. And so and so now and as and because I know that when we talked a little bit about what you what you offer with your with your bartending company. Mm -hmm. So kind of explain like the type of drinks that you offer in the bottled options. I like, kind of talk about that a little okay. bit. Um, I do a lot of mimosas. I do like a lot of mimosa mixes. A lot of people, they just like for me to just mix them up. You can say a mocktail because a mocktail can go for it by itself, or it can also go as a mixer. Um, okay. You can do either or with those. So it could go um, okay. either way. But yeah, they'll come in bottles like these. They'll come in bottles like these. Love it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Or they will come in a wine bottle. You can, we go through a little small survey, a small Google form, and answer a few questions and then I'll send you a few options and we go from there. Okay. And so tell us about some of your price options with some of those offers or some of those options that you do have for your menu items. Okay. So we also have, we have some four ounces, which are great for the beach, any type of cookout. They're just four ounces. Okay. They're plastic okay. and they come in a variety of flavors, whatever you want to do with those. Okay. And so the four okay. ounces are, um, they're $6. They're $6. A okay. Piece. Um, but if you wanted to get a bundle, we do have bundle deals as well. Um, the 30 okay. ounce bottles, the mocktails are 15 and the cocktails are 20. Um, we do okay. use premium liquor in those um, okay. as well. And, you know, you, also, you always have a choice of any spirit that you like to go in those. You tell me what you like when we come up okay. with something and we bottle it up just for you. Um, the labels are customizable. So if you have a birthday party or a wedding, a celebration, okay. and you just want bottles at tables, we do those as well with the personalized labels. And so those are always Okay, fun. good. Those are always That's fun. awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So if they wanted to have something like 30th birthday party on it, you can customize and put that on the label as Absolutely. well. Mm -hmm. I sure can. That is. And for the kids, we do have like the junk pouches. And so it's juice and in the bottom of it, it's just all kinds of goodies that they can, um, oh, you know, man. They can drink the juice and then they get a, a spoon and they can dig in there in the pouch and get all the goodies at the bottom. So those are fun. Oh, man. That sounds so just 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 <laughs> mouth watering right now oh my gosh that sounds so so good so so tell us what's one of your favorite either mocktails or both your mocktail and cocktail to make that's your favorite and what's a what's what's one of your uh best sellers okay i would say my favorite mocktail would be actually the one that i have right here with me and it is uh, okay it's watermelon 
I actually don't have a name for it. Um, <laughs> okay. It, but it's, it's so good and it's refreshing. It's for the summertime. Mm -hmm. And of course, when it, um, when it's cold outside, I love a good cider. I make a Sprite cider and okay. I make a non-alcoholic cider as well. Um, those are okay. good. And if for the cocktails, it will be the Royal Delight. It's made with peach crown royal. And it is delicious. Mm. Delicious. Um, and that's actually one of my best sellers as well. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And so you, you mentioned about like they can, well, for the kids' pouches, you said like they can grab like I guess whatever fruits or whatever's in there. So most of your drinks actually have like the fruit pieces in it. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, <laughs> that's it right there. I could just I'm imagine it being chilled and cold and just tasting those little fruit chunks. That's it right there. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So y'all, y'all, y'all are hearing it, y'all. These are some wonderfully made beverages and alcoholic beverages again mm -hmm. for the home, for the family, you know, for the, the for the adults, and then something for the kids too. So you don't have to feel left out with the whole family. Right. Y'all can go support her at Sweet Sips Bartending Company again whenever you're planning, even event at home and it been for the family and you're just trying to worry like well how am i gonna get the drinks or who gonna buy the drinks because y'all know how that can be trying to call out the family members tell us so which one of y'all gonna get this and get that you don't even have to worry about that because we got no. sweet, sweet sweet bartending company that can take care of all of that for you go have it bottled up made up for you and just offering all of these a variety of delicious drinks that are chilled y'all so make sure y'all reach yes. out to that so if you've never done that before these services i'm sure is going to be very helpful um again when you're having your parties and you're planning these events that's one less thing you would have to worry about because we know everybody want to head to head to a bar or to get some nice fruity beverages so that's one less thing you would have to worry about let her take care of it for you <laughs> I, sure will. I sure will and also, oh yes stop by on sunday for a chance win some sweet swag yes that's it now, now you said that I, that that was the first that's what i should have said stop by on sunday to get a chance to win so you can see for yourself what it tastes like you don't have to even guess anymore like mm, i want to give her a try but i don't know what her drinks taste like you ain't even got to guess come to the event and get your chance to win these giveaways you will not regret it again you have a mocktail so that way your kids can enjoy these fruity made up nice uh displayed drinks and then also for the adults so y'all come on out to the event it's this sunday y'all at the southern museum of flight it's going to be an amazing yes. event with fellowship word and worship culminating in a top tier fashion show and i'm just so excited to have one of my sponsors here with sweet sips bartending company to offer you the delicious beverages and again we're just going to be doing the giveaways okay so y'all be ready for that everybody likes the giveaway right and i'm sure Absolutely. even if you don't necessarily drink you got somebody in your family that i know will enjoy this package i'm sure everybody does so y'all y'all get on down to this event it is this sunday starting at 3 p.m at the southern museum of flight get your tickets at www.godlymodelstv.com tickets are just 20 dollars, but if you wait to come and get it at the door it's going to be 25 dollars at the door but grab those tickets now don't wait and come on out because we need y'all to enjoy these giveaways all right Absolutely. our sponsor is putting up some nice packages so i need y'all to come on out zondra zondra Man, tasting mother. Yeah. Mother, and she is literally sitting hello right miss zondra <laughs> okay okay yes ma'am well that means you know you know we ain't making this up miss zondra yes so y'all y'all come on out y'all come on out to the event it's going to be nice we got our sponsor here that i'm just so happy uh that she's taking a part in this event and has uh willing to offer this sponsorship so y'all i think that's it you know we we've uh pretty much talked about everything um except the fact that y'all need to be there on sunday so y'all mm -hmm. can get this giveaway stop by her table you know show your face stop by the table make sure you follow her she'll follow back and you're gonna grab sure that will. raffle ticket and we're gonna get ready to do this giveaway i think that's plain and simple and easy all I right so y'all you know we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this on up thank you so much deidre for joining me today i know that you know we all had such a busy day but you took that time out today to make yourself available and i i appreciate that thank you thank you you've been wonderful. all right so yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I look forward to seeing. I look forward to seeing you Sunday, darling. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, nice. and that's.
for y'all. Come on now. Get y'all tickets. www.godlymodelstv.com. I'm waiting to see y'all there. All right. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye.